Imagine if that was wet, how awkward that would be. I'd be like, fuck, it's, I'd actually say, yeah, it's really wet. But no, it's dry. Now, I'm in a house that I've shown you before, and it was titled, Did I Overspend on This Property? And you know what? It's taken a bit of a backseat in the refurb because other properties have taken a priority. But I'm here again uh, after lockdown. I evaded border force, got in, um, and I am here to show you around the house. Now, I haven't been here for, oof, well, personally, like four months. And yeah, not, you know, not enough has happened. Um, <clears throat> You know, me and the builder had a very honest conversation. A lot of his lads were just not delivering. They were just shit. The quality wasn't good. The work ethic wasn't good. Need to get rid of them. And he did, thankfully. Um, but of course, that means he's starting again as such with, you know, himself and only about one or two other people. So this house has gone a lot slower than it should have. Um, it's nice to see some progress. And actually, we had a delay at the back with some damp proofing that needed doing and actually needed doing again. Um, and I'll, I'll show you that actually, and show you how it's now bone dry. But this is this is too let. <clears throat> Big up DMK, man like David. I'm gonna show you around my humble abode, which you could not abode in because it's, yeah, it's a mess. So I'm just gonna show you the sort of lounge area. The cleanest thing is obviously my bag. Um, but oh, what, oh, hello. What's that? Oh, is that plaster? Gold, gold. Um, this is the kitchen stuff. Or, or sorry, the kitchen, kitchen stuff. What are those? Go on. If you can guess what they are, pink type of boards, you get a bonus cookie or something. Let me know. Also, the kitchen in here is quite sexy. This is the lounge. Ah, insulation. There's some doors which I. I don't know where those doors are from because as you've just seen, there is nowhere, there's a door there and there's no doors fitting in that tiny gap. So um, I guess we've got two spare doors. Ooh, yeah. Small benefit of being in property, the smallest benefits. As you can see, I've got a trim. If you've been following me on, on IG, you've seen the fro has been real, but now I'm back, baby, with a fade. So appliances and shit. Um, you know, this is the back door, back uh, garden there. Obviously, it's blocked off by uh, something. So I'm gonna take you in the kitchen now. Just, I don't know, you know why, but little step, little step. Let's go. Zoop. Oh, yeah. You see what I see, huh? That's actually been taken out because it's um, it's a rose gold kitchen. Miscommunication of, you know. Go yellow gold and rose gold. Yeah, God. What can you do, mate? First world problem. No. Right, it's a building site. <laughs> and I've got my trainers on, so I need to be careful. Um, this is the kitchen. Now, you can see... Um, let, me, let me put you... Yes, let's, let's have a look here. Right in the corner. So you can see this is actually... I mean, it's fair... I think it's fairly large. Um, you know, as galley kitchens go. There is a fair bit of room, you know? Um, and it's quite not, there's gonna be a few wall units. I think, uh, so the cooker, I think is gonna go there, integrated extractor, wall unit, wall unit. So it's gonna be quite a nice, tidy kitchen. Um, there's a the back garden, which I'll show you. Electrics happening, having a partial, I mean, it looks like a full rewire, to be honest, but it's a, it's a partial rewire. Um, this kitchen is from Magne, Magnet, Trade, uh, and yeah, it's kind of almost be done. This is newly plastered. This this white wall has been mist coated in what looks like a, a first coat, you could say. Um, this wall here has been left for some reason, where there used to be tiles. Yeah, there must be, dot and dabs. And this wall and that wall has been left. I believe we're gonna strip this off and file and paint it because it's in sort of good, well, I hope it's in good condition behind it. Um, I'm not sure. You can see pipes are cut off there. Um, which we'll get to, but basically we've hidden. So before I got this, there were pipes all the way along here, along here, along here, along, all the way down to that. And it looked, it looked, oh God, horrible. Yeah, it was nasty. So we lowered the ceiling slightly, which is the builder's idea. Great idea, big up. Uh, and there's no pipes. 
it is crispy. Uh, spotlights, because I was like, well, it's all newly plastered. So, you know, just chuck in, chuck in some spotlights. So we're having three spotlights, I believe, or yeah. Um, so this is the kitchen. Now this wall here, you may have, I may have mentioned this another time, but that wall is earth. So behind it is the earth. So obviously you can see we're not at earth level here, but because of, well, mother nature, that is earth. That had a lot of problems with damp. Um, firstly, I think they did a basic damp proof course. They didn't realize it had, not wood rot, but like stone rot? Some problem, I can't remember. Anyways, treated it, put the damp proof membrane on, tanked it, rendered it, plastered it, and it, imagine if that was wet, how awkward that would be. I'd be like, fuck, it's, I'd actually say, yeah, it's really wet. But no, it's dry. Part, then do it again. So that added to it taking too long. And this is a new roof, by the way. Uh, I'll show you when we go upstairs, but you can kind of see the new roofage there. Nice bit of damage there to the wall, but that's there. Oh, and of course we have a luxurious garden. Letting agent would say, it's a, it's a big garden. This is, you know, a room, room for your kids to play around, you know, a few potted plants, a few tomato plants and a bay leaf tree, yeah. Lots of room here. Yeah, this will obviously be cleared. And I do want to paint across that, that stone, I mean that, that brick, sorry, across there. Because it does look a bit ratchet. So it would be quite nice just to do, you know, a navy blue or something like that over there. But yeah, this is the rubbish tip. And there is real access window, of course. Um, but this kitchen, let me show you this. So it is, it is matte, and well, it bloody better be, uh, as you can kind of see on the edges. But it is going to be... Oh, look how good it looks just now. It's going to be rose gold with the grey and the dark grey and then the white and the tap's going to be a normal chrome one. I don't think this would work, but I mean, bloody hell, that, that's a good look. I mean, your boy did well, yeah, your boy did well. So into the bathroom, bath is going here. And this was also, this is also earth, like that wall. So it has also been, you know, sorted out. This is gonna be plastered and sorted out, of course. Um, no spotlights in here, uh, just IP rated light under the new roof. Um, my boiler man, big up David again, another David, is gonna come and sort this out. And that's the rear access, little steppy steps, out to the top, into the garden. We're gonna put a new gate on there as well, of course. Not very nice to not have a gate. I'm gonna shut that. Don't worry, I've detoled everything. You can kind of see the new roof there. Um, also put new timbers in, thanks to the builder for doing a bit of labor on that, see there? The new roof, so a whole new roof um, has been put on. And you know what, I just this kitchen's just gorgeous, isn't it? Right, garden. So let me take you through to the top. Now this house, thermostat. Okay, let's go upstairs. OCD box. Half wallpaper, half plaster. Sorry, I'm the DJ of inter uh, inter interior designs. Man, imagine if Homes Under the Hammer was as fun as, as that, huh? huh? You know what, it actually doesn't smell bad in here, which is just surprising. It means no work has been done, because yeah. Electrics, I mean, this feels like a rewire, but. Oh, don't you just love shiny copper? to a new radiator, very nice. And there is the new roof we spoke about. Cause you can see the earth is sort of there behind it. Um, nice and tidy, I must say. If you're a builder watching this or you got any feedback, let me know. So a normal door, yeah, holes, watch out for the holes. And then a five panel door um, with different handles. So it is what it is. I quite like, you know, this room is quite nice. Like it's got quite a nice little um, sort of cubby hole over there, you know? I, could, I like, I, what I would do personally, have like a, a fitted, I'm not gonna do this, a fitted cushion in there, or like a fitted half cushion, or maybe even a desk. This literally could be the office. This is where Amazon, this is where the empire starts. Um, and have just like a reading nook, you know? Bookshelf, yeah vibes uh, let me show you this room uh, you know what i remember viewing this in the auction like it was yesterday honestly like i remember 
who I was with, the people that I just, yeah, I remember it. So, more wires, damn, and a little um, storage. So, you know, as much as this is a two bed, it's actually quite a large house in terms of square meterage versus other two beds in the area, which gives it a nice sort of boost for when it's a revalue. Now, I looked down the road and there's two empty houses there. I looked on Landridge, can't find their addresses. So I'm gonna go try and knock on some of the neighbors' doors and see if we can find who owns the houses because they are looking bad. So look, welcome to this tour. I will put the figures into the description. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this tour, I hope it's been useful. Uh, if you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, do your thing. Check out my podcast, Tedge Talks. Um, and this has been one of many property tours that I'm gonna do for you 